Hi guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Type Medical Center. Today we want to tell you about what Type Medical Center does. Because we get that question a lot, I think, right Sharice? Quite a bit. You know, are you a trainer? Are you a supplement company? A gym. Uh, a gym. So we get a lot of different questions, right? Absolutely. So we want to tell everybody like what Type Medical Center does and how we can really help them. Okay. So Titan Medical Center, if people really don't know what we do, I always tell them, we do hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, and a lot, lot more because it's really custom on their goals. There's no really set regimen for one different person. Different people require different therapies to get them to different goals, to get them the different results that they want. So that, I think that's a big one, right? Absolutely, everybody wants to look better, feel better, perform better, but then you know, you have me, I wanna be skinnier, you got the next person down the street, they wanna put on more lean body mass, then you have the next person down the street, they wanna be an athletic runner, somebody wants to be a professional rowboat, whatever. Yeah, it's, rower, yeah. <laughs> there's so many different things out there that people are trying to accomplish, and you know, let's not forget about the little things too, too, right like in life with just wanting to be around for your kids or just trying to have a good bedroom life because yeah. that's important too I think quality of life is key though because quality of life really means their day-to-day -day living how their how their affected day goes that goes from all the way from the start waking up refreshed right having a good attitude mental clarity being able to get through the day with enough energy doing their job whatever job it you know they have requires that could be from a doctor to a landscaper whoever it may be they still got to be in tune to what they're doing Plus, they got to save some time for their family or for themselves. If they want some private time, they want to go into hobbies, or they've got the family life like me and you do, right? Well, I mean, you can't forget about these women duties, okay? Because these women duties, not to toot the women horn, toot toot, but you can't forget about the women duties because you got to get up, get the kids ready for school, pack their lunches, make sure they're off to school and doing all their fun stuff, come back, make sure you're getting ready for work. Now you gotta do your makeup, you gotta do your hair. There's a lot of things that go into being a woman, obviously. Yeah. But then you gotta go to work and if you're not on point with everything, then you're not gonna perform at work. Then you gotta come home and cook dinner and have all these fun things, do laundry, maybe a few other things around the house. And then obviously spend a little time with your husband because that's very, very important. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things for everybody. Absolutely. And even for the single parents out there, they got to do all the jobs they've got and double. they're one person. They've got so they're double. doing daddy and mommy duties at the exact same time. So they've got double the workload, mm -hmm. double the stress, right? Um, and if you got kids, you know, a big thing out there is immune function. Right. You know, a lot of people are sick. They don't know how to get better or they have to keep going to their job no matter what because they have to get that paycheck so they might not go in feeling their best. These people have kids so their immune system gets broken down. Not maybe from themselves per se. Oh, the little ones coming right, back from right. school with all the germs. Absolutely. And anybody that has kids really knows that this is a true statement. Mm -hmm. Their kids might go home um, from school and bring back these germs that gets the whole family sick. Now you have your soap. Oh, gosh. Viral infections that you need to sleep off. That's great. The list goes on. So <laughs> really, your type medical center, we have therapies that will help immune functions too. So not only looking better, feeling better, and performing better, you know, your daily life, but actually building immune function. So, hey, listen, even if you're going and you're traveling a lot mm -hmm. or you're going into the gyms, you know, where, you know, people are using this equipment, they might not be cleaning down the equipment mm -hmm. and you're getting those, those dirty germs and, you know, people touch their mouths, their ears, uh, they touch dirty doorknobs, door all different types of things, For right? Sure. To get these different things. So uh, we know the flu's out there, a lot of different things that affect people. So immune function is another big thing. Huge. So, you know, and I think the biggest one after that and uh, right now is weight loss. So yeah. we know that, uh, you know, our population in the United States, obesity and overweight is a, a dramatic epidemic, mm -hmm. okay? And with this comes bad health. Of course. So it's like a domino effect. If one thing's off and one thing keeps going, your, your, your weight keeps going up, you're putting strain on these different things in your body and your immune f function breaks down. Um, you know, you have autoimmune diseases out there mm -hmm. too as well, you know. So there's a lot of things that go into play. So you want to make sure that you're giving your body the best. You're monitoring your body in every way, shape, or form, whether mm -hmm. through be through blood testing, checkups, uh, making sure that everything's functioning correct. Well, I mean, you know that I preach you only have one body and you have to take care of it. Right. And health is number one because if you are not healthy, 
it's going to be really hard for you to look good, yep. okay? Yep. But obesity is huge. And yeah. with people being overweight, that does lead to some of these medical issues such as diabetes, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, which is high cholesterol, is a lot of different things. And then guess what happens after that? Now you're going on a prescription medication yeah. that you have to probably be on for the rest of your life. I mean, nobody wants to be on a medication for the rest of their life if they can be preventative about it. Preventive medicine is the new cutting age future for us. Yes. It's always been, you know, when it's broke, then fix it. But I really truly believe from the bottom of my heart that preventative medicine is the way to be. Absolutely. Preventative is only the way to go. I mean, we, we, we do the daily or, or maintenance on our cars, on different things to make sure that they don't break down, but we don't do the exact same thing for ourselves. For sure. You know, we need checkups. We just don't need, hey, listen, it's broke, fix it. We want to make sure you break, you know, you fix it or be preventative before it breaks down, That'd fix it, one. right? For sure. So at that point, it's really, really uh, key for people to be in tune to their health, to wanna make sure that they're living a healthy life. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. And when we talk about having to go on these different medications per mm -hmm. se, they can have negative side effects that will give you these different symptoms that you don't want. Well, it's not just that. You know what happens is you go on the medication that gives you a side effect, then you yep. need to go on another medication that gives you a side effect, then you need to go on another medication. All of a sudden, you end up with this huge pill box on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yep. and then another pill box Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for all the side effects that the first box gave you. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, you don't, if you don't have to get there, some things are inevitable, okay? Let's be realistic, mm -hmm. um, but you know, and hereditary but now we're finding out these things that you can actually be preventative about it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. These different therapies, cutting edge therapies, that's what Type Medical Center is all about. You know, helping people be their best, feel their best, look their best, but also having these cutting edge therapies that will definitely help them in these different ways with being preventative or giving them anti-aging properties or helping them be better in all different ways, shapes or forms. And that's one thing Type Medical Center can do. And that's what I want to stress to people today. As far as blood testing, we do blood testing that you know, other general primary doctors don't do on their patients. Right. You know, we can send people in wherever they're at in the state of Florida here and help them in the state of Florida. So at that point, they could be their very best. Um, they can get monitored by these doctors that are very in tune to preventative anti-aging medications because usually the general doctors are not, right? right. They're, they're in tune to, hey, listen, there's a problem, let's fix it. Let me hear that one problem, get you out the door because I have to move on to the next person. You know, your, your visit might be five minutes. You wait in, in the lobby for 30 to 45 minutes. Then you get took back to the nurse. You're waiting in the waiting area for the, the doctor or licensed medical provider for another 15, 20 minutes. That medical provider comes in. It might not be the doctor. It might be a physician's assistant. It might be a nurse practitioner. You don't know who you're going to get. Um, so at that point, they answer five minutes of questions for you, get you a script for that medication and get you out the door. Mm -hmm. Where Tight Medical Center is going to look at these blood results with you. They're going to look at family history with you, health history with you. Right. They're going to make sure they put together or we put together a plan, a regimen for you that's going to give you the ultimate goals for your success. Um, you know, and it's not just going to be, hey, listen, what's your question? Let me get that done and let me get you out the door. You usually have like 30 to 45 minutes. With, well, I mean, with a the, lot of times too, we have to remember, like they just, they, all they do is they look it over before they get in the room with you. And then they walk in and they're like, hey, listen, everything came back great. Yep. And they don't even go into detail yeah. about what's what, what are the interval ranges, where should you really be? Yep. They just say, hey, everything came back great. Any other questions? Yep. I think that's my biggest thing. Um, even with testosterone replacement, hormone replacement therapy being, it's, it's getting becoming very, very popular these days. Everybody's getting you know, into it. No, it used to not be. It didn't used to be. Uh, there was really, really bad stereotypes and bad myths about hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy. It's becoming new age. Everybody's being more educated than ever on these things. They want to feel better, mm -hmm. right? So they're going in. But when they're getting the treatment, they really don't know from their, their doctor what to really ask for. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we want to educate people for, for sure. to ask the right questions so you get the right answers, so you get the best benefit for your health. So when you go into a medical provider or your general doctor and they say, you know, how did my labs come out? Well, everything come out great. Well, what does that mean? Right? <laughs> what test did you run on me? What do we really check for? Right. Is there anything we can improve on? Right. Uh, you know, so that uh, that's a big thing. And I think education is key for all patients. Education. Our patients, we like to educate them fully about what's going on. And, you know, people out there that might not be our patients, we want to make sure that you guys are educated 
on what we're doing and what you should really be asking for. Even if you don't come to us, you've got some ammo in your back pocket that you guys can use to get the best possible treatment. Because remember, your doctors are ultimately your employees. You pay them to yeah, see them. They work for you. It's not the other way around. You know, you, you, you think, you know, and I know coming up, you know, you put, you know, some doctors on pedestals. There are people just like everybody else. So when you're going into them and you're paying them for this experience or what's going on, you should really get the answers that you're looking for and not get pushed off or not be looked upon down or, you know, thinking you're asking a question that's dumb. Well, you're being crucified right? just for asking an extra question and they go, you know what? We're just going to make that your next follow up visit. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and at that point, you're like, oh, wow, well, I just wasted a whole day of work. I know. Right? Because normally people, that's what they say. Well, I won't be at work today. I have to go to the doctor's tomorrow. You have to take off a whole day of work to go to the doctors. That's not how it should be. Yeah. And that's not how it is a tight medical center. So right. if you come in with a tight medical center, you're going to get, first of all, you're going to get greeted with a bottle of water and a, a gift bag, you know, as far as us, because you're family at that point. Exactly. You're, you're going to get treated with respect and you're also going to get fast expedited service. So I think there's a lot more that we're going to be able to cover in these ongoing episodes that we want to bring out to you. But this was just the start. Well, I can't wait to go over all the different things because there's so many things that we offer. Not only that, there's so much education out there. And honestly, me and John, we've had extensive, extensive experiences yes. in this hormone for ourselves yeah. and the things we've been through and the trials and tribulations. So, yeah. I mean, it's important to at least share that with you guys because if we can prevent you guys from having to go through what we went through, then the all means, that's what we want to do. Absolutely. So we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and all those great social media platforms. We can also help you with blood testing all throughout the state. We can help you as patients. All you gotta do is call or text 727-389-3220. Founders of Titan Medical Center, John and Cherise Sikouris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I need everybody just to get up out of their seats real quick and drop down and give me 10 push-ups. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Just sit there. I'm just playing around. So when I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with endometriosis, a very painful and debilitating disease. I was also diagnosed with another very popular disease called blind faith. Now, for those of you out there that do not know what that is, that is when you go to a doctor and you're looking for the cure and he's going to give you that cure. Well, in my particular scenario, he didn't give me a cure. He just gave me lots and lots of medications and lots of invasive laparoscopic surgeries. Sounds like fun, right? Yeah. No. Okay. So I actually ran into a few different things. One of my challenges was that I did miss half of my senior year of high school 
due to all the surgeries and all the pain that I was in. So I had to go and sit in front of a committee and explain to them exactly what was going on, but I did do it with a smile and a 3.9 GPA. 28 years old, I was tired, I was lethargic. I was also working with doctors and athletes and I still couldn't find out the problem. It was one simple blood test that told me my hormone problems were off, free and total testosterone were low. When I changed this and I fixed my hormones, I felt like a whole different person. It was like the shade opened up for the first time and I just seen the sun. It was awesome and I felt awesome. I felt like then there were other people out there that felt the same way. So I knew that we could help them. It was lucky that I had my best friend, my business partner, and my wife alongside of me to be able to open this up. But the problem was not being able to fund it. With $2,000, it was real rough. Now we have to remember, this $2,000 was our tax return check, and it was from the IRS and the very last bit of money that we had. So not only did we have to figure out how we were going to fund the medical center, but we cannot forget that we had a two-year-old cute little Greek hungry baby at home that needed lots of food and lots of diapers. So this was going to be an interesting uh, task for us. So I did go to my mom and I asked her, I said, hey, mom, listen, this is the idea we got. I know we can do this. I have a sure I, this is going to work. She looked at me and she goes, are you absolutely out of your mind? Now, mind you, my mother is from Trinidad. She's very old school, okay? So she goes, you're crazy. She goes, you know what? I think you guys are gonna end up in a box under I-75. Well, we did it. We opened up Titan Medical Center. We found a place that would rent to us day by day and by the week. We found a doctor that would work with us by patient by patient, and we created our dream. We envisioned, it was awesome but then rolled around the speed bumps and those curveballs that come at you. After we had the practice up and running, the place that we're running from said, you gotta be out in 30 days. We kind of freaked out. At that point, we put our heads down, we put them together, and we found a place that would rent us a space, we had the build out done, and we were up and running again. We have a thriving practice today, and it's awesome. But being an entrepreneur, nobody believes in you at all. That's very true. And I'll tell you, it's very important, especially to us, because we've been through the trials and tribulations. It's very important that we educate as many people out there as possible, that if they might be experiencing some of those same things that we had to go through, that we can help those people. Up to this day, we have helped thousands of people nationwide, and we will continue to help thousands of people nationwide. I cannot tell you how rewarding it is every single day that I get up, that we have been able to help people, whether it's get out of bed and go to work, or it just might be a better time in the bedroom with your significant other, because we all like that, right? So my very last words here I want to leave you with, blind faith is never a good thing. Having no faith from your family and your friends is an even worse thing. But having faith in yourself and each other, that is the equation to success and dreams. Yeah. What's up guys, John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for all tuning in. Support us week in and week out. We wanted to shout you guys out right in the beginning. Plus, thank you guys for all the messages and all the DMs, all the shout outs. All my people out there, wish me a happy 40th. I really appreciate it. Gonna make this year one he of my best. He loves being 40. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make it look good, I promise oh, yeah. you guys. He does, he does. So, uh, you know, every week we like to give you guys some tips, tricks to hopefully help your relationship, future relationships, Maybe reignite those flames or just make things even better for you guys. And every week we come up with a couple topics or maybe one single topic to go over mm -hmm. 
to give you guys some insight. And these are some of the different things that maybe me and Sharice have already encountered. Some of our friends or family members have encountered um, with troubles with their relationships and kind of asking us, you know, what should I do? Mm -hmm. So our topic for this week is don't mess up a good thing. Mm. Okay. And this just doesn't... Uh, go for relationships this goes for everything it could work. be yeah work i mean it could be friendships yeah. it could be anything you know you have this good thing you know maybe you, you come be complacent or you're like oh, this is always going to be there and then boom, pow it's gone mm -hmm. and you're like what happened like yesterday like i had this thing and and now it's gone it's, it's just it's not to be seen so don't mess up a good thing and we're going to give you a good example here so one example is is that we have two friends, okay? Both married, kids, okay? A nice, good relationship is what we thought. A life together. They're building a family together. They've been together for a while. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, the wife's at home and she gets served with divorce papers. Yeah. At that point, doesn't know, still lives with the husband. Just like, I don't know where, like, where does this come into play? Right. Um, you know, at that point... After going through lawyers and all this stuff, spending a whole bunch of their money together because <laughs> yeah, they're, they're their money, <laughs> it's their money, right? So it's coming out of there. You know, the, the spouse decides, hey, listen, you know, after all this trouble, after all this money, maybe everything's going to be okay and we'll go back to it. Mm. Well, at that point, the wife's like, hey, listen, I've already went through all these problems. You've you know, taken all our money and used it to these attorneys and stuff like that. Like now I'm okay by myself. I don't, I don't want to go back to that. Now mm -hmm. I've seen other things that maybe open my eyes, you know, and at that point that dude's like, womp, womp, womp. Like, you know, you, you messed up a good thing, dude. You did have a good thing. And then you forget. Look, sometimes you don't know you have a good thing until it's gone, right? Right. A lot of people, we say that all the time, you know, you don't know yeah. what a good thing is until it's gone. Right. You know, sometimes even when it comes to work. You don't know you have a good job until you leave thinking that you know the grass is greener on the other side you go to the next job and maybe you maybe you made like a dollar more an hour right or two dollars more an hour but now you're miserable yeah. or you're not happy yeah. or you're um you know being overworked yeah. or uh, you know underappreciated who knows it could be anything but you know it comes to relationships too same thing you know sometimes you just don't know you have a good thing until it's gone now i wouldn't wait until it's gone because sometimes when it's gone it's gone it's gone <laughs> it's definitely you know it's you true. don't have a choice after that it's true and then we talk about progression right so it's always good to progress in life but some things are good the way they are okay like uh, you know, the way the wheel is, like, there's no way to make a wheel even better, right? And if you make it square, it's not going to be efficient or effective like it is round and, and circling. Right. So at that point, like, you don't want to mess up a good thing. The grass is not always greener on the other side, like Cherise said. So, you know, maybe that opportunity you think is so good or I'm missing out on is not the best thing for you. I mean, I, we do see it. We see it in jobs. And we see it a lot in relationships. And mm -hmm. a, another big thing of where these people see this is that is in social media, right? You got people sliding other people's DMs, making comments yeah. on posts. You know, it's just, it, it's it's a false hype. It's a false hope in most That's circumstances. That's a lot too, though. Because, I mean, let's not, let's be realistic here, guys. You know, I call it as I see it. Half the things you see on social media isn't real. Yeah. It's super not real. Right. It's either, it's not real. Let's just say it's not real, you know, or they show up and you're like, oh, nice to meet you. And they're like, oh, I'm so-and-so. I'm like, really? Could have fooled me. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of posing on there, posers, <laughs> right? Um, you know, people face tuning and stuff like that, filters and all different types of things. But like, you know, I mean, people get that false hope of like, oh, like all these people love me. They're all writing in my DMs. Oh, they all want to do this for me. Like, that's false hope. Like even guys, like, you know, you, you might get DMs from girls and stuff like that. Those girls might not be girls. They might be guys catfishing <laughs> you. You never know. So you don't know. You know you or don't, you might even look on like, even like a feed, right? And you're looking at somebody else's relationship. And let's yeah. just say they're posting these phenomenal photos and everything's peachy and perfect, right? And on their story. But let's say at home, it's really not, you know, it's just something they're putting out there for the persona, you know? Yep. So it's, it's not and that always... doesn't apply to us guys. No. What you see is what you get. Listen, all the time. I already been through it with him. Okay. <laughs> the whole first, at least. That's five, why we're here. The whole first five years. Okay. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Lots of tears. <laughs> Fights. Okay. We're normal. Kind of, you know, yeah. we've been through it. It's just, we've been through it. 
we know each other very well. We know what makes each other tick. We know what not to do. The you know, ones, yeah. you know, you kind of learn your significant other, and if you love them enough, you'll adapt to what they need, what they want, and what not to say and what not to do. Um, you'll just learn, you know. So over time, we've learned each other. You know, he Absolutely. knows my stuff that makes me mad, and <laughs> you know, I know his stuff that makes him mad, or you know, what it makes him happy. So. You know, whatever whatever makes your significant other happy, you know, just don't always think that you can see something and it's always greener on the other side because yeah. it's not. And don't always compare yourself to other people. Right. That's, a, that's another big thing out there. You not know? apples to apples. You think this person's doing all these things. Like, I want to be this person. You should be concentrating on what you can do for yourself because mm -hmm. even if you want that, it might never ever come. You know, so what can you do better for your relationship or yourself right. to make things better? How can you improve yourself? or improve your relationship to maybe even get to that level. Like, that's okay. Like, you know, when you start, it's not like that. You don't automatically get all the years, all the experience, no. all the trials and tribulations, go the good memories, <laughs> the bad memories. Like, this is something you earn. These are badges you earn over time and the stripes because you've been through it. You, you've been through those times. You've been through those wars. Um, and you come out stronger. You come out, you know, victorious. Like, yes, you know. Yep. And you really, you, you might not even think that. But when you get back to thinking with your partner, oh, man, look at all the different things I've been through or we've been through. And look where we've come. And that's when it's, bam, you're like, oh, my, this is a blessing, right? Um, because you have all these different experiences. And like I said, good goes with bad. It does go with Just as long as there's more other. good experiences than bad experiences, you're going to be good. You know, it always You outweighs. need the bad to make it good. You got to go, you got to go through that, that struggle. You know, and I'm not even talking about like a financial struggle. Yeah. I'm talking about like sometimes the emotional struggle. Yeah. You know, sometimes you got to go through that. I'm telling you, I promise. It's not, if it's all peaches like that, something's wrong. Yeah. Nothing is <laughs> Something perfect. Something is wrong yeah. if it's not like that, you know? So it's, you got to go through it. You got to go through it. And once you go through it, I think, you know, you'll earn your badges and respect each other. Absolutely. All relationships, no matter what they are, business or love, um, dedication and hard work always come out true. Like you got to put in the work to get what you want. Um, that's, that's just the truth. I mean, it's a hard, cold fact that people don't want to do these days. They want instant gratification. They want instant relationships. They want, you know, these different things. And it's just, it's not going to happen. So don't always think the grass is greener on the other side. Yep. Those guys out there, you guys with the five wives, it's not that fun. Fertilize <laughs> your own grass on your side and make it grow better and stronger. Okay. So you know, you're on your side of the fence and everything's going great. Like, all right, you're looking over and say, oh, that's good. You guys are doing good over there. We're doing awesome over John's there. John's a good gardener. Yeah. <laughs> Got that green thumb, right? All right, so, <laughs> for, for yeah, or, or gold thumb, all right? Gold thumb for the money. Oh, I like yeah. to make money. I like to, you know, I like to grow thumb. I like both of his thumbs. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is just one you know, tip we can tell you guys, you know, that it's going to be very beneficial to you guys, whether you're a male or female in all different aspects of life. Don't mess up a good thing. And if you don't know if you have a good thing, you better check yourself and look and say, look what I have and be grateful for what you have in that time because everything can be gone. Snap of the fingers. Snap of the fingers. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this is another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. Or if you want to check out all our episodes, go to our YouTube page. It's Titan Medical Center. Just type it in. Hit the all notifications, the subscription, the bell, so you guys get all the updates and all our great videos. So I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you guys next week. See you then.